Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. This is a healing message for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, so I'm going to see what message is going to help you all who are on the path to healing to remain on that path, okay? Because we are at a pivotal moment, the human race, and we got to make sure that as a team, we can help whoever is ready and willing to heal, we can help each other heal, okay? I'm using the Templar Tarot deck here, and this has different images, so it'll sometimes give me additional messages when it comes to healing, it's a little more advanced. So we're going to go ahead and get started and see what message they have for you all, okay? Justice. This is going to require you to have blind faith. Because I feel like time is running out. You... You're being given a chance here, uh, Pisces. You're going to have to trust uh, that the messages that you're receiving are within your best interest, even if you don't see it. I see justice being served for you. So if you're being led to go research and learn new things, please do that. Because time is of the essence here. They're giving you the tools you need to fight off any demons. But if you want this balance, because you're holding this scale, if you want this balance, you're, you're going to have to trust. So this is like blind faith here. You're being led. Time is of the essence for you. And I don't mean to be pressing, but I'm feeling that it's a pressing issue here. Because they've already given you what you need. Yes, you got to use it. Queen of Swords, you have to use it. You know, no more wearing your heart on your sleeve. They want you to use the sword. Uh, this is a... Being able to see the situation for what it is. You're in a fight here. A lot of you have already taken it on. I'm happy to see that you're ready. You're ready. Okay. Empress, here's the deal. You're going to have to see the beauty. The beauty in everything around you, the beauty in what's going on. Because uh, there's a lot of jewels, there's gems here. There's also a lot of scraps and bones and things you don't want. So you're going to have to be able to separate the good from the bad. You're going to have to be able to discern what's good for you and what's not. And they only want you picking up the things that are good for you. Because this would show that you know who you are. You're in touch with your divine feminine energy. And you're ready to inspire yourself to do what's within your best interest because you know your worth. This is how you show them that you deserve this justice that's, uh, that's being presented to you. Some of you live in a bubble where you block things out. 
You block things out that you don't want to face. Because I'm getting a lot of denial here. If it doesn't really sit well with you, if it triggers... If it triggers a negative emotion, you block it off. Almost like you were trying to ignore it. But enough of that. You can't keep sweeping things under the rug. It's time to... It's time to heal, Pisces. Because you are the Empress. So get ready. Get ready. And um, start filling your cups. How about that? Wish fulfillment is here. Nine of Cups. I see you uh, reaching a place where you're content and you're and you're happy, where you're no longer worried. You can sit and relax. It's not going to be easy. Okay, this is not going to be easy. But this wish fulfillment here, you're the uh, you're being led in a path that's going to. Give you a, a, a feeling of contentment. So you do have some work cut out here. There's prerequisites to get here. Okay. There's things that has to happen first. Number one, you got to know who you are. You got to uh, know your worth. You got to understand that you are in control of your destiny. And the decisions you make can either lead you to the outcome that you want or it can keep you stuck. Okay, so that's number one. Then you got to actually take action that shows that you know who you are. So you can't just talk about it. You got to be about it. So the things you do have to be in alignment with a person who's, who knows their worth. So if there's anything in your environment that does not vibrate with the uh, with the frequency of someone who knows who they are, for example, no one can be in your uh, space who doesn't respect you. You can't have people around you who treat you with as if you don't matter. Those got to go. You don't reach wish fulfillment when you still hold on to things that don't treat you like the Empress. Okay, the Empress energy is a strong, creative, motherly energy. The Empress is able to give herself love because she sees love in everything. She's even able to trans transmute everything into love. This rose could have actually been one of these bones on the floor. But when she picks it up, she sees love because there's love everywhere. You have to treat yourself everywhere you go, anyone you encounter with. The way you treat yourself, they should be treating you that way. Okay, a person who who um, who is true to themselves they don't allow mediocrity. No. Mm -mm. So you want to reach there. Make sure you've taken care of what needed to be taken care of to be in this route. Okay. And then you have the three of staves down here, which is like a three of wands energy. I uh, see so you have a compass. So you're, you're, you're headed somewhere. There's somewhere you're going. You have a potion in your hand. So it looks like you have the remedy. To bring in those things you've been trying to bring in for a while. This is like uh, an energy of waiting in the traditional deck. Because you know your ships are coming in. But it looks like you're tired of waiting. You're about to go do something about it. Because you have the antidote. And you have the route and the path. So now you're going after it. You're no longer waiting for your abundance. You're no longer waiting for the uh, expansion that you see for yourself to arrive. You're going after it. You're going after it. And you know what? It's going to be so much better for you. 
You have so much help, so much support around you. There's support here. I see you being, uh, you're being sent to search for something better. And you're being led that way. I knew you had the, you have what you need to get there. You just got to trust it. So you're being supported, okay? Six of Swords here. Knight of Cups. Good. Emotional fulfillment is going to come in through something. There's a... There's an offer that you're going to receive soon. Many of you, this is good news. This is just going to put you in a really good space. This is the start of your new found life, your new freedom, no longer being tied to uh, things that just wasn't working because you're starting to realize who you are. You know who you are. You know who you are. So good. Emotional fulfillment coming in. Magician. <laughs> I just said it. You know who you are. This is uh, the power, the force within you taking control. What are you doing? You are trampling on anything that's coming out to come get you. You're dancing all over it. And you, and in your head, you have wings. So you're like flapping, flapping, flapping. You're ready to fly away because you're about to develop your wings. The magician energy is that God energy within you that says, I'm going for it because I know who I am. I just got that light bulb moment. And I'm ready. I'm ready to get rid of all these things that's in my environment that's not... It's not good for me. They don't work no more. They're they're outdated. I'm about to fly away from this. And your guides, they're so happy. It's like, finally, Pisces gets it. She is now in touch with her God energy, his God energy, and uh, ready to go for it. Come on, y'all. Wow. Six of Cups here. Here's what I'm getting. I'm getting two messages. Uh, your healing is directly connected to your relationship with your parents, okay? Things that happened in the past. There's things that need to be buried, okay? Things need to be buried. Uh, that happened in the past. Uh, basically, you got to heal it. Any bad blood or anything that you were not able to heal from that may have caused resentment within you because of your upbringing, those things have to be healed. Okay? And many of you, once you get to the end of this road, you do call in. You call in a, a strong, strong past life connection. Okay, uh, that's uh, something being promised to you once you get to the heights of this. Okay, a lot of you, that's what this is. Y'all have, um, you have to be ready. Look at that. The balance is going to happen. I actually see you receiving a balance. You receiving everything you put out is going to come back to you. You guys have a lot of six energy here. There's something about uh, two holes coming together. Two people who have done the work on themselves coming together both giving reciprocity this is at the end of this journey for you that's what you get at the end of the journey okay 
Six of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and Six of Cups. So there's some kind of past life connection you have. I see someone coming in to give, but this is when you give to yourself. Give to yourself. Realize your power. Start giving to yourself. Loving yourself. Empress. And here it is. You see? Empress is no longer waiting. Three of Wands. This is uh, the card I was just talking about. Where you're standing waiting for your ships to come in. No more. You decided to go after it. Let me create a potion for this. Let me go get it. I know the route. No more standing. I'm going to get it. And that's uh, that was showing that you knew your worth. And you realize who you are with the magician. So wish fulfillment's coming in. I see you being very happy at the end of this. Seriously, it's a strong, strong feeling. Nine of Cups. Okay, guard what you work hard for. The message is stand your ground. Uh, you, you're going to have to protect yourself. You're going to have to really um, remove a lot of things out of your environment, Pisces. There's going to be some sacrifices you have to make. There's things you're going to have to shut out. Things you're going to have to move away from. And you're going to have to keep yourself guarded. They need you to be in that energy where you're serious and you're protecting what you work for. That's why they're giving you this sword. You have to trust. The, the, the scale is balancing out, but you're going to have to do your part in this. You have to do your part, okay? I'm going to pull some energy cards. See uh, what you all should be focusing on when it comes to your energy. Pisces, please give me a card for Pisces. You got three cards that fell here. We have storm warning. And I, and I feel this because I, it's, there's things you're going to have to be prepared for. Okay. Um, but you also have the healer of the ages. You're going to be able to heal this. That's why this is here. Be ready. Because what you're going for, it's going to take work. Many of you, you're going to find yourself fighting off a lot of things. Be ready for that. Okay. Seven chakra, your crown chakra. You are getting in touch with your higher self. Okay. This is a really the journey to finding yourself, your true self, your higher self. Getting in touch with that Christ consciousness here. Healing. Exactly what needed healing. Okay, another six energy here. Five, one equals six. You guys, there's a balance happening here. So just be prepared. Whatever that comes your way, just know that there's nothing that you can't handle that comes to you. Everything that comes to you is because you can handle it. Okay? So this is not something that you can't get past. But just see how beautiful the ending here is. I see a balance happening. You're closing out a karmic cycle here. All right? So keep going. Make sure you're doing the necessary work on yourself. Treating yourself with the love that you know you deserve. That's how you attract someone who's going to treat you with, um, with respect. When you treat yourself with respect. Okay? All right. So that's what we got here, Pisces. That is your message. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.